An old world faith long dead. I'm tired. I've held this title for so long now. The mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the horde. We were bitten. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette case and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. I was dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. medicine? They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to turn, and I realized, why else would my husband lead me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember a taste. Acrid, bitterest blood. It might have been blood. Surrounded by the remains of the people who had trusted me. It was because of the light. Someone finally turned the power back on. And the light brought me back. You see? Lifting the fumes is one thing. But drinking the liquid is... Something else entirely. In the light. In the sun. My mind is my own. I'm filled with love you could possibly imagine. But in the dark, my new nature dominates. Mindless, lethal. In the dark, with cruel passion, I ripped my own children to pieces. But I swore to myself that I would become the mother they really deserve. And now, you have come, Kyle. And every sign tells me you're the one I've been waiting for. It's in the prophecy, Kyle. Then shall be revealed one man, who through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the no. light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him. And through him will he speak. I just need that medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. Minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How horrific. <coughs> Look at me. And when the darkness comes, what then? More death, more killing. You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? But we don't, we don't have to drink it! With just the mist! It doesn't matter. Just listen. We've been breathing the mist. It will take longer. But you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! The army built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? 
Gosh, are you crazy? I won't play your god of the sun. I want no part in this bullshit. Just let me take the vials and go. Maybe you'll understand when you see it with my eyes. How narcissistic. You, the god of the sun himself. I'll show you who no, you are. No! Oh, god damn it! You fucking monster! I hate all you but my love for humanity fills me. A love which you defy. And you know that a love rejected turns to anger. An anger you will bear, Kyle Crane. I will make you pay for all those. <laughs>
First, I'll kill you, bitch. And save my friends, and you can rot in hell. I killed you. I fucking killed you! This is a poison. It's not a poison! It's a cure. <laughs> Lena? Lena, I'm coming back with the medicine. We'll be able to... We'll be able to help everyone. Tell Camden that... That he has all the time... He has all the time in the world now. No, no, tell him, tell him we, we have a new lead, we have a better one. Where, where am I? <laughs> 